Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all the ships at sea. My name is Rick Brown, your voice of Walpole High Sports. Welcome to another episode of The Circle Game. In this program, we interview people who have influenced the athletic program here at Walpole High School. Our guests today are members of the 2023 uh, Division I Massachusetts State Championship Field Hockey Team, your Walpole High Porkers, who won their 13th straight crown, state crown. As the top seed in Division I, Walpole finished the year with a 14-game winning streak and an overall 22-1 record. The Porkers won both the Hergett Division and the Bay State Conference with a 13-0 BSC mark. Walpole's record over the last four years with this year's seniors was an amazing 73 wins, four losses and a tie, along with four Hergett Division and four Bay State Conference championships, as well as three straight trips to the Division I state championship game. This year's Porkers scored 120 goals, tied for the most since 2018 for Walpole High, when they also tallied 120. Defensively, Walpole allowed just nine goals, the second fewest since 2014. I'd like to introduce you to Captain Karen Birch in the middle here, goalie, goalkeeper, uh, Abby Johnson, and of course, Coach Jen Quinn. Uh, ladies, thank you for coming today. Congratulations on an outstanding season. I did get a chance to see many of the games this year and was so impressed with the way everything goes, went. Um, Coach, um, when did you get an idea of how good this team might be? Honestly, like day one. I think really? that, yeah, I think that um, the past two years, you know, we've been to the same spot right. and I think they made it up in their minds like from the very, very beginning that it was going to be a different outcome this year. Right. Yeah. Now you had lost a lot of players last year, a lot of scoring players from last year. Did you go a little more defensively this year or did you just continue with the way things have been for the last several years? No, I think we, we made a few changes. We moved Karen back. Mm -hmm. You know, she was our center mid last year, so that was one sort of key change. Um, and then, you know, we switched Elena to another side, trying to balance things off a little bit. But right. I think overall the changes were kind of minimal. Right. Yeah. And of course, Abby just did a, an incredible job in goal this year. Um, have, Abby, have you always played goal or were you, did you play out in um, starting out? When, uh, uh, first, how long have you been playing? Since? Probably goalie for five years oh. and then field hockey for six. Okay. So like seventh grade, like I played field, like I liked defense better and then eighth grade, the only way to be on the team was to be goalie. Right. And after that season, Jen was like, oh, your angles are really good. You should try a club. And from there, it's just been continuous. Um, what club team did you play on? Um, I play for Patriot Field Hockey, and then I'm also on another club right now, Seacoast okay. Field Hockey. Where were they based out of? Patriot is my main club. That's based out of Norwood, and okay. right now I'm commuting to New Hampshire for really? <laughs> Seacoast. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Uh, and now, Karen, what about you? How long have you been playing? Uh, well, I started with the camp that they do at the high school. Probably when I was in like fourth grade, because mm -hmm. my mom was a basketball coach and all the girls like managed to get me in there, even though I don't <laughs> think I was old enough. And then I started playing for the youth team. And then I want to say towards the end of seventh grade, beginning of eighth grade, I started a club. Right. And what clubs uh, did you play for? I also played for Patriots. I play with Abby. Oh, okay. Club too. Oh, all right. So you've been together, you know, playing together for several years then? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. What about you girls now? Going back to the end of the summer when you're starting to get together and put things together for the fall season, did you have any idea that you guys would be as good as you are, were? I mean, I think that I, we all, all had an idea that we were going to be good. I don't know if we really thought we were going to be this good, though, because it's hard to come into a season thinking like, oh, we're definitely a state championship team and we've thought that like two years in a row and then right. have it gotten the outcome we were looking for. So I think we tried to come in like a little bit more humble and think like, okay, we have to start, take everything game by game. So I don't know if we ever really looked at like the big picture until we were really in the playoffs and getting to the end of it and we were like, yeah, this is definitely right. our year. Abby, I know that as a goalie, when for most of the games that I was at, the majority of the playing time was in <laughs> the um, 
opponent's defensive zone. What do you do to stay in the game way back, 100 yards away watching the, the game in front of you? Um, I definitely have had my moments of like getting like distracted and not being as focused, but like just like making sure I'm watching the game, like what, where like my defense is, kind of keeping them in a spot where like if the ball were to come down, they can recover. I think just watching a game, like I like commentate in my head, like right. just try to stay engaged as much as possible. Right. Is there anything you do to to psych yourself up when when most of the action again is at the other end? Do you, is there anything you do, or when it does come back to your way, do you worry about that so much? Mm, it's kind of hard because, like, you know, I've, I've seen a lot of these teams for a while, and, like, I know kind of, like, who's dangerous, like, which players to look out for. Um, it's different in high school. Like, not they can't shoot necessarily from anywhere in the circle. It's just, like, they don't have that level of skill, and, like, mm -hmm knowing the games were like that can't happen and like right. being aware of that. Um, Karen, um, to, as a defense type player, is there a lot of difference between the mind, the thought of being on defense versus um, you know trying to score? Yeah, definitely. I think I probably play more conservative in our defensive end than I would in our offensive end. I think that goes for everybody just because I think defense, we have a strong set of defense, but some of like the actual defensive principles like marking and like knowing where our girls and stuff are definitely not our strong suite. Right. Suit. I don't know what word that is. But so I think like when it's in our defensive zone, I know that that's one of our weaknesses. So I make sure to be like extra careful, try not to foul, try not to put us in a position where we have to mark. Right. But like when I'm on offense, just kind of like zoned in and I'm like, okay, get a corner, get a shot, get a goal. Right. Some, like more just kind of like, we're not in any danger in this area uh -huh. and this is where we do succeed in our, I think, I think our play in the circle is really strong even though we can't really score on corners. Getting them, we're pretty good at. <laughs> so I think. We spend so much time practicing too. Yeah, we're, yeah. but we're really yeah. good. We're really good at getting them. Right. So like, right. I'm never really worried about that. So I have, Usually it's just like more aggressive. I like know we're good at getting corners. So I kind of right. focus. Right. Um, looking back on this year, where was, was there one game where you had, where you figured, we can really do this. You know, we can, we got a chance to really be a really outstanding team this year. Any one opponent in particular? I think Fian. The first the fan game, one. I think they played spectacular, uh, right. like start to finish, from Abby all the way up to like Izzy, like straight through. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that was a game that kind of set the bar. And not that yeah. that's as high as we wanted to get, but we continued to improve from that point, right. you know? Yeah. yeah. But I think that was a big game. I also think in the semifinals, like the Franklin game. Right. Yes. Once we won that game, we played well, we played composed against a team that we know is like good and strong. I think once we beat them, we kind of knew like, if we can beat that team, like we can beat anybody. Yeah. Is it harder playing in a tight game, like the Andover game, a one to nothing game, where you guys scored early, now you've got to protect that lead for the whole rest of the game, while also trying to add to it? Is it harder that way, or if you've got to build up an early lead, like in many games in the first four or five minutes, you've got three, four goals already? Well, that's definitely easier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, and, but I think Abby, Abby would probably say the, like, the opposite. Like, you like the games that are yeah, like... Yeah, I and mean, those are more interesting like, yeah. for me, like, <laughs> knowing, like, oh, like, if this goal goes in, like, it, it matters, mm -hmm. rather than, like, oh, we have four on the board already, like, it's fine. Yeah. Right. But I think for us as like coaches and the player, like the, the field players, it's, you know, you're like, okay, now I can just kind of sit back a little bit. You right. Know? Yeah. Right. So. So, so what's, what goes on from here now? Uh, what are your plans for next year? Like, oh, school wise? Oh, oh, oh. Like next yeah. year. Yeah. Well, hopefully I graduate. <laughs> hopefully I graduate. <laughs> hopefully I graduate. It's kind of like my first school. And then um, I'm going to Bryant. Right, continue okay. playing field hockey. And you will play field hockey? Great. Abby? Yeah, I'll be playing field hockey at UNH in the fall. 
Okay, great. That's excellent. Do you have a lot of uh, your seniors that are going on to, to play or so not actually not so many the two of them um i think you know there's still one or two that have hopes of maybe getting somewhere right um they're still trying to figure that out but not a lot no yeah. not that many yeah. i mean we have 14 of them but right only a small right. handful that are going to go yeah. on yeah now that's a is that a normal amount kind of seniors of? no to have oh that's 14? a lot that's I a lot so. yeah yeah <clears throat> and I think, uh, I think like eight is kind of average eight right. ten is yeah. average but yeah, yeah we have a lot yeah. Now, scoring-wise, you've got a lot of the young, up, young underclassmen who are coming back for next year. Yep. Um, how does the, the defensive situation, the goalie situation, look for next year? So the goalie <coughs> situation will definitely be a big change. You mm -hmm. know, we've had a number of years where we've had good quality goalies. Um, and, and then the defensive situation, I think we still have a good base right. that we can, you know, kind of build around. All but, right. Yeah. That sounds yeah. good. Well, thank you for coming on, ladies. I really appreciate you giving up the time for us. And um, again, congratulations to the Walpole Porkers, 2023 Division I state champions. Uh, and we'd like to thank you for watching this uh, episode of The Circle Game. And we'll see you again soon. Behind from where we came and go round and round and round in the circle. circle game